Hello everyone, it's BD Mort. I wanted to make a video for YouTube. It's been a while. It's been over a year actually. So I apologize for that. Um, we've been working on other projects and getting busy in real life. And I kind of just let YouTube sit. But we have still been working on Ushiana and making progress on different features that we've always wanted to add. And I just wanted to make a video to show those with you guys. So to start off... I'm not sure if we added any new f options. We have, you can turn on the fleet destination lines, different colors. Um, go to a new game. You can see a few new options for starting a game. We've added in random events. And that was a pretty big feature that added tons of messages for all the different empires, different events, like wormholes being created or um, collapsing, finding treasures or people giving money to your empire, having a uh, computer virus, you lose research points or uh, I guess uh, space flux that causes ships that might get destroyed. Um, we added in space monsters that can, can come and attack your system that was something we wanted to add in for a long time and and a lot more i can't really think of them right now but we added quite a few um events to the game one more thing that was really cool someone suggested they'd like to see was different tech progressions also someone in the comments in the last video even mentioned that um the techs go by too quick so you can actually select this one where you have to research each thing in that level before you can move on to the next level of tech. And so it slows down the what techs are used for longer in the game. It actually makes it a lot more fun. I wanted to increase this to where you could actually pick whether or not your AI opponents have to follow that same rule. Or maybe they'd be able to advance far quicker than you which would make it way harder. Another feature we just barely added because it was a suggestion was random perks. To be. So um, you can have a select a random empire, but it also will pick random perks for that empire. And to add to that, we added you could play as someone like a race that you like, but you still kind of wanted that randomness we added this button here so you can these are the normal human perks but you can just click random and you'll get random perks for that race uh, I think in the last video we showed that we had added zooming and panning um, there are quite a few oops wrong button I know uh, we added let me go let me go to my game I was playing recently. Auto save. We added in. You have to actually build spy networks to be able to see what people are doing because this graph's pretty cool, and it actually gives a reason to build a spy network. Um. This might even be new. The different victory conditions. And we're still working on the other two that we have. But they're not ready. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. See, I can't go to level two until... Like, if I, if I research this, then I'll be able to move on to level two. And then another thing that we're just barely starting to work on, and it actually is in the beta, is when you go to a planet, you can actually set up um, auto lists, like customizable build lists. So making new lists and say you have a list for when you're worried about a new planet that needs to be defended, maybe you can purposely make you know, um, buildings that will help protect that planet. 
And so when you go to a, a you very you just barely colonize a new world, you can click on it. You can just select that. It'll populate the list. Um, and it works pretty good. You can make different lists. It's kind of like using the the auto build button, but it's more like controlled. Yeah, so it would be like using this button to where you don't have to pick each individual thing. You can just pick which list you want to work on. So it gets rid of some of the tedium, but also allows more control than just putting it on auto. Let's see what's going on in this game. I just barely went to war with these guys. So I'll take that. I've been trying to colonize as quick as possible. Ooh, natives. We added quite a few new things that could be found on worlds. Like new... Um, I can't think of the word. And new events, like when you click on a world, sometimes you can find a, an ancient device that will duplicate the ship that found it, or might destroy your ship. Um, like ancient traps. So... Just want to keep adding more variety to the game. I know I'm probably missing something really big. Oh, one thing is... There's another. We added quite a bit to the AI to make them not as dumb. Nice. <laughs> so the, the combat's a little bit better. The AI is definitely harder. This is on the hardest setting, and I've yet to win a game the last few games I've played. Is if it's the hardest setting, it should be really hard. And I know some of you are extremely good at this game, and so you're asking for us to make it harder, and we definitely have. Yeah, I, I can't really think of anything else. Should have made a list. But the big ones are adding in the random events, adding in the, the new tech advancement, Bug fixes, uh, working on the AI, adding in the build lists, adding in, you know, the not just random events, but we've added to the random events, and we, we want to keep adding to them. It provides a lot of uh, variety to the game. Each game you play makes the replayability a little bit higher. And the nice thing is, if you don't like the random events, you can turn them off. So you just turn them off. And yeah, same with the, the tech progression. We want every everything we add to have the option. So if you didn't like it, you can play it the old way. Or you can mix it up if you get bored with a certain way. Another thing we we have added is a Discord channel. Which, it's really fun to see people's comments and play styles. Things they're working on. Or things they've done that's been interesting. It's a place for us to be able to show off, you know, artwork. Um, see, this is something that was pretty cool. One of our fans made their own um, portraits. So, yeah, if if you have Discord and you want to join the Discord, that would that would be awesome. The more people, the better. That way, we can get more discussion going. Oops. That was good. General. And you can, uh, if you have any problems, this is the best place to come. People can answer questions. And if you find bugs and stuff, it's the easiest place for us to see. And we can get them fixed. And a lot of the things we've been adding lately have come from just simple suggestions. So, if you... If you want to add to the game, you have some ideas, simple ideas, because we aren't the quickest at development. This would be the best place to come and provide them, and we'll see if we can get them added in. All right, and I'll provide a link on the screen and also just uh, a link in the video description, the drop-down button on YouTube, and you can join Discord with us. Anyway, we hope to put out more videos and more updates quicker, not let a, another year go by. So, be sure to keep following the channel and the game. I appreciate it. Bye.